you know, my content is not for everybody. And, 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 I, and I believe that's okay to be yourself. <laughs> process me you ever have to be right with your thought process yo thought process working today it's working you know being a female at the end of the day it, it, it comes with a lot of responsibilities you know being yourself no it's a thought process no you feel within it's going on within you you feel the emotion you do it's not you <laughs> you're not bugging it really be the thought process me you know a little bit tima <laughs> <laughs> it's a thought process. Me, you know when 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 you when when you going through your your monthly strategies or whatever the case may be that once a month or whatever the case may be when you know you know <laughs> it's flowing. Yeah, it's the thought process. Me, you know when you get that every month or whatever the case may be, and you realize it comes with side effects. <laughs> it's a thought process to me. I didn't get instruction on this shit. I really did. It's the thought process to me. <sighs> you wake up all looking like swollen in the face. <laughs> Who did this to me? No, for real. <laughs> you ever had to realize at the end of the day, I got somewhere to go. That's how you feel when you look in the mirror. <laughs> it really be the thought process to me. You may feel like your face is extra bigger than what it's supposed to be at the end of the day. <laughs> I need a doctor. My something is wrong with me. No, doctor. No, you're not taking me today. No. You ever had that moment with your doctor and realize at the end of the day, you go to your doctor for a little bit of everything? <laughs> it's a thought process for me. Big toe, I stepped on it myself. I'm sorry. What's your issue? It's a thought process for me. You ever realize at the end of the day, when, when, when it's that time of the month, right? When you're on your menstrual, whatever the case may be, you ever realize at the end of the day, you be trying to be so patient with people? <laughs> and then I even realize at the end of the day, right? Ma'am, sir, what's wrong with you? I got extra stress. Oh, I'm trying to communicate with myself and stay in my own lane. Please don't get me out of character. It really be the thought process for me. No, for real, because you really be praying within praying. Not today. <laughs> no, it really be the thought process for me because it comes to a moment in your life and you say to yourself, because you know what? I'm already. Mad at myself, I woke up swollen. I got a big appetite. <laughs> it really be the thought process, me. You squint up and down. You gained about 20 pounds in one serving. What's wrong with you? You squint up and down. You need a doctor. <laughs> you just went to the doctor last week, Monday. <laughs> and today's only Monday. <laughs> doctor says nothing is mentally wrong with you. <laughs> they actually do you want to go see another doctor that's good doctor that, that could possibly diagnose you because <laughs> you get on the god darn doctor nerve bother for every god darn thing no it really be the thought process me you know when you want when you when you when you one of those type of people that don't like to go out your way and and you know at the end of the day that what's wrong with my body I think it's age catching up on me I don't know but <laughs> then I don't like this feeling I don't like this feeling you start to realize at the end of the day as you as you age and, and as time is changing with the weather, whatever they got polluted in the air, whatever the case may be, you start to realize what your life or whatever the case may be. Yeah. <laughs> it's in me. You start to go into depression instantly. <laughs> you need to go see your doctor. Doctor saying to you is, what did I tell you last time? But please hear what I have to say. I don't need a straight body jacket. I just need somebody to talk to. <laughs> you ever realize at the end of the day, when you're going through your situation, within your situation, you don't have good motivation and support around you? No, because everybody wants to make it seem like you're the issue. You know when that one time of the month or one time of the year at the end of the day, it just be that one moment. <laughs> and it feel like every time at the end of the day, oh, shoot, here you go again. It's that time of the month. You ever realize at the end of the day, when you eating, and it's that time of the month, and you trying to be patient with yourself, and you just get into the mindset of, of saying to yourself, is you know what? I think this is cheap day. I was going to go on a diet. I changed my mind. It's the thought process, me. Wait. <laughs> I need to learn self-discipline. Now you're love respect. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. My content is not for everybody, and I say that respectfully. Um, but I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. 
that's been supporting me and showing me genuine love up close and personal. I say that respectfully. You know, your comments are not overlooked, and I, I, I'm, I'm truly appreciative of it. You know, it's not about likes and comments at the end of the day. It's knowing at the end of the day. <laughs> God put me here. Hi. <laughs> I just want to say hi. <laughs> it's a thought process, me. But never give up on yourself because someone doesn't see your worth. Never get discouraged because someone didn't believe in you. You know, never get, have excuses for yourself because, you know, everybody's not the same when it comes to trauma and pain. You know, certain individuals come from a household that didn't have a mother and father. Or certain people came from a household who had addicts as, as family members. You know, rapists as family members. And I say that respectfully, dysfunctional family members. Family members that maybe have been sick, you put a name to your book, but... They still knew how to respect their neighbor, good day, bad day, and misunderstanding day. And I say that respectfully because, you know, God created us to respect each other and not have malicious intentions. And be careful when judging a book by its cover because you only judging God. And I say that respectfully. I'm not here to judge my neighbor, but I'm letting you know what's your point of view, what you did to yourself when you judge that child of God who didn't have malicious intentions and you try to kick them down and label them and try to make them, put them in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a bubble where they did not belong with somebody else and comparing the two, and they never matched up because they're not the same. You know, I hope you find peace in your own lane one day, neighbor. You know, just because you don't understand how someone was willing to understand that they had dysfunctional folks, they didn't have folks loving them, but they still knew how to show up and not kick somebody down and make their problems someone else's problems to have excuses why they couldn't show up for themselves. And I say that respectfully, so be careful when judging a book by its cover because we are all not the same. We all have not came from the same household when it comes to respect and respecting each other. At the end of the day, just because someone came from a dysfunctional household and they still know how to respect somebody, that energy hits different because we are all not the same. Never get discouraged because someone kicks you down. Never get discouraged because someone doesn't see your worth. Never get discouraged because someone doesn't want you to believe in yourself, to show for yourself, to better yourself. But wow, how God works in mysterious ways. God is still being patient with you. And you are the miracle to yourself because God is allowing you to see that your dreams can become your reality because you were staying true to yourself and understanding and understand your faith. But at the end of the day, you didn't have to wear a mask to gaslight nobody at the end of the day to do what God allows you to do is show up for yourself in a healthy way. Because the good God sees everything. Any negative energy return back to sender. And I say that respectfully. The good God sees everything. So when you try to kick your neighbor down, the good God saw you. You only judge God that day. When you had malicious intentions. When you was having third-party conversations about an innocent person who didn't have malicious intentions towards you. Regardless of their culture, their religion, their sexual orientation, or their disability, or even their age. And you had malicious intentions. God saw you. You only dealt your own fair share, your own karma. Dealing with judgments day. And God saw you. You kick somebody down and they didn't want to see you do that. They didn't, want, they didn't want to see you do that to yourself. But you kick somebody down. But they would not want you to do that to yourself. You see how we are all not the same? Regardless of what household we come from when it comes to trauma and pain. Stop categorying people at the end of the day. And I say that respectfully, especially when someone's moving according on God's timing. The energy is different when they ain't got to wear a mask to gaslight nobody with trauma and pain and dysfunctional behavior. We are all not the same. It's a thought process for me. Excuse me, neighbor. Be careful when judging a book by its cover. God don't like ugly. You only call judgment on yourself in an unhealthy way. Now you want to play victim to hide your hands, but you've been hiding your hands to wear the mask, but the mask been revealed because God saw what you was doing behind closed doors. It's a thought process. I mean, we're all not the same. I truly appreciate you to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day. Have a safe week. Have a safe remain a month. Protect your energy because not everybody's over your time of your day. Just because someone gave up on you, you don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooks you, you don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be truly respected and to provide days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody's over your time of your day. You matter and you are worthy. <laughs> I gotta go. I need a nap. All right, I gotta go. Peace and respect and respect your neighbor. Stop the violence. I'm not saying that respectfully. Move accordingly on God's time and understand in your favor. At the end of the day, they try to shortchange you, but that don't mean shortchange your neighbor with disrespect. At the end of the day, peace and respect and respect your neighbor. Stop the violence. I'm saying that respectfully. Move accordingly. Nigerian love respect. I'm the original content creator of all my videos, word for word, and I say that respectfully. God works in mysterious ways. Be careful when judging a book by its cover. You matter, you're worthy. They gave up on you, but God hasn't given up on you, overlooked you. <laughs> Thought process with me. Have a good day. I gotta go. Nigerian love is spot. Hate a hate in disguise. He continue to multiply protection. Oh my god, it keep coming. Bye. Gotta go.